Okay. Uh, this is the uh, video diary for June 26, 2001. Uh, and what we um, have done today is we have removed uh, three, about three four layers in the center of the house, feature 606, and, and that is we divided it in four quadrants in order to do the better, more detailed sampling of the center of the house. And uh, this is uh, the same um, division as we have made last year and the year before when we were removing earlier floors. And uh, so what we had here is, uh, now we have arrived on an um, early floor in the center, which still has a thin layer of packing on it, which we will remove when we decide to expose it completely. But now we are, keeping, we are protecting it with it. But what we have come across is, as I said, three thin layers, relatively thin, between half a centimeter and one centimeter of white clay. Um, and uh, then the packing made of uh, ricky uh, brown clay, which was about one centimeter thick, and then a thick two and a half to three centimeters thick layer of real packing, which was made of uh, heterogeneous uh, materials, but most of the materials that were burnt and that ca came from an oven, destroyed oven or cart, or most likely more than one oven and hearts. And um, they were very nicely chopped up in uh, medium-sized pieces and very, uh, very well packed here under the floor. So once we removed that, we exposed, as I said, the earlier floor. And what we can see here in the, in the edge of the floor, we can, we can see the nice lines. Actually, you should have stayed there to see these lines. These nice lines of earlier floors and packing. So the, the white floor, white floor, gray packing, white floor, orange packing, white floor, and, and so forth and so on. We have still a lot of floors to go through. And we can see in this instance here, close to the platform 169, that this floor, new, newly exposed one, goes under the uh, later floors that were on top of it here. So th this tells us that this, this section of the floor in the kitchen that begins from this edge and goes on top of the, this feature, this oven, and then on top of 169. All that is much later than this floor here in the center of the house. However, the, the rest of the floors in the kitchen going towards the east, uh, most likely the, the exposed floors um, earlier floors, that is, these floors from the center of the house um, went above this. But those floors in the kitchen, the, this series of floors that uh, was here in the kitchen, got cut in prehistory by prehistoric people when they were preparing the kitchen for the midden. And we have noticed uh, when we excavated the midden that, that, that there was a, a, a cut made in the floors and features in the kitchen before uh, the middle was uh, initiated or whatever, with the scapularium and so forth. So if we follow the floor that we can see here, the relatively late floor, it goes on top of 169 and goes all the way around. All those features are part of it. And then this same floor went on top of this, what we are excavating here in the center of former 158. Uh, and we have we started removing that, and we will uh, today start removing this floor that I'm standing on. So, so that white floor went all around and uh, went up to the oven, a uh, big oven, feature 646. Now the floors, then the floor that I'm standing on, which we until now were um, calling C floor is obviously much later than this one, the newly exposed one. But even though it is later than that one, um, it still goes under the, the visible floors on this platform. So it's much deeper down on this platform than what we have exposed. So there is a huge difference in, in time, in phasing between the top of this platform and the, this newly exposed floor here. And we have to deal with that today. So what we are doing, we're going down in the central part 
of this Gorma 158 case uh, in order to get uh, as much down as we can and closer to the set floors in the central house. Um, okay, and we'll talk about that later. Then what we did also, we continued excavating the burial. Uh, feature 757, thank you. And, um, and now we are, uh, Bashak is fin finishing the drawing of the bones that were underneath the bones that had been lifted up. And she has exposed also a basket, some more, a basket which seems to be uh, not complete, but that's not um, certain yet. We might find out that it is actually more complete than it looks like, uh, right now. And it is, um, it, what seems to me is that the, the, ba the baby, the child, was buried inside the basket. It pretty much looks like that. So um, there are no more beads, right? We had some more. Yeah, there are some more. So underneath more. right arm, red ones. Right. And so now, once we saw that there was a basket, then we started thinking that the phytoliths that were actually found on the back of the um, child's skull uh, in the beginning of the excavating, it, they, the, they could be from the basket, not necessarily from something else that was on the child's head. And um, so... So if we look at uh, other um, features that were um, dug and cleaned yesterday, we can see following the, the former screen wall line, we can see that we have exposed the interior of this feature, which is now called a 759, which actually represents a base on which our screen wall pillar, which is feature 156, was built. Now, the idea was, and still is, that this feature that's exposed now was um, a feature of some kind that was in the face with these other things around it, and that it was reused later on for feature 156. But what's interesting about it, as we were talking in a separate uh, video that we have made about this whole complex situation in the house, uh, what's interesting is that this feature 759 is sitting on top of the floor um, four, so-called floor five. Floor five here on top of 162. And not just that, but that the, the five floor had a, a, a little wall. The platform had a little wall on its west side and had a plaster going up that wall, and it seems that they basically, they most likely truncated that platform at this point, and, um, and this edge of the platform, or wall, little wall, or, or whatever feature was on this side, it could have been a bench with, decorated with Ukrainians and stuff, and they truncated it, they, they folded the plaster to some extent, and they put this feature on top of that. So... Right, so, and then on, later on, what I think later on, they put 156 on top of that. So this feature did, doesn't have to be directly, uh, it doesn't have to be at the same phase as 156, but it was used as a, as a basis for it. Now the question, of course, is what, what would this feature do here if it wasn't originally put for 156, built for 156 in this place? What was the, uh, its function before? Um, another thing, Ruth, that we did, what we did here, do you want to talk about that on the platform? Um, yesterday, um, what, yeah. what happened yesterday in excavating the platform? We took off the, uh, we took off the, the rest, you can see like the rest, the remaining part of floor five of feature 162 there. We took that, we took the rest of the floor five against um, feature, what is it, um, 722 now, 772, sorry, it's called 772 now, it's underneath the uh, little interior wall one, feature 160, we took the uh, white plaster of from, that was going up that, from the floor to up the wall, up this remaining sort of um, little wall here, we took that off 
and exposed the western edge and the plaster still against 772 but lower down, the plaster going up the wall um, of the uh, floor 6, which is in fact the C phase of feature 162. So um, now we're not quite sure what the actual edge of feature 162 is because we have another much larger um, another edge here which would make this platform much larger so we've got to have a look at that to see what's happening but it looks as though um, that they uh, actually kind of truncated again this possibly cut this platform the original edge of it for some reason or another and um, the southern edge but we'll see that the other thing we did was um, down here, we've been um, taking off, uh, what is it, floor um, six here in the uh, platform 173, which is the uh, latest of the so-called C phase floors. And that was just a kind of little bit of it here and some here, which overlay this um, earlier C floor of feature 170 and it was a little bit of it here so this now and uh, this floor of 170 and this floor of 173 are now in sync um, and that's what we're calling the early the early floor of the two floor C phase in this area and um, we just still have to do that here and well, when we remove that, then this little wall will come off as well. So what it looks as though we probably will have is then a much larger platform in the early C phase, which went from here, probably in line with this one here, all the way yeah, across. This, yeah, that's what I was thinking. This saying. stuff is going to go further out, and then even earlier phase, even more out. Uh, um, possibly, yeah. I actually think that this is all being cut up and that this may be the original wall, the whole kind of, it's like a north-east corner bank. But that, that's the floor of, below this. Uh, below this? Yeah. Um, that's this floor, this floor that I'm standing on. That's this stuff. Yes. It goes then in there. and goes in that way. Well, I'm not sure, it, yeah, possibly it's does that. Stuff. It's that yeah. little bench, and it goes there. So it's below. It's so this is different. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's yeah. earlier right. floor. Um, so then this, you can cut the idea that this was cut. I was yeah, thinking it was that cut. Seems like a and then you, the, the two little walls, uh, the, the big platform, one sixty two had two little walls on both sides, on eastern and western side, and that's slightly different. This wall well, looks like a little lip, right? Yeah, this little and lip is only doesn't really go with this floor. Yeah, but this little goes, lip is put in. It goes with that floor. Yes, it goes with it that goes floor, with, and it goes with this floor here. There's a little bits of it in this um, in this later phase of C recording. Um, here, it's, it goes with this floor here as well. Here so for the most part, the floor that goes with this little lip doesn't exist anymore, or never, perhaps never was a real kind of... Or it existed and got truncated. Yes. Because it seems that here, there is a little bit of that original floor that went in that was truncated into right. the history. And again here. Right. And, and there. Yeah. But in any case, they, there was a division between the two platforms. And it's interesting that this, the packing of this one is this dark gray, blackish clay, which occurs uh, also in the packing in later period, which is in the uh, southwest corner of, 160, uh, of the house, on platform 169. What I noticed also was how similar the packing below that you've been coming across under the floor the series of floors here in 606 is similar to the packing that was on this side and right. all the way up on top of these floors. Right. And then, to go back to the walls again, the east wall of this platform 
Uh, we don't know how high it went, whether it was also some sort of a, a west wall, some sort of, the, of a lip like this one. It seemed to have been higher or to have, have been a different, actually a feature, bench-like feature. So that's so something we need to find out maybe today. Yeah. So there, it's interesting that it was uh, bordered on those two sides. Um, okay, let's now finish with the stuff here in the, in the southeast cor corner of the house. We continued excavating the floors in the niche and on top of uh, platform 167. And we had a series of floors still standing right here oh, before today. And they, uh, they are removed now, and we are standing on this floor that is still considered to be a sea phase floor. And it, um, it doesn't expand any more, any further into the niche. So it seems that we have exposed the niche as much as, as it needs to be exposed. And, uh, and then in the kitchen, we did a little bit of cleaning of the remains of the floors, and we have now a little better um, coloration of these um, fire installations, and we can again see this central one, which is feature 754. Is it doing all that? I think it's 754. And uh, other, other features that go under it and possibly on top of it that work here, other fire installations. And nicely set into that cut into platform 169. Um, one, there are two more things that I wanted to mention, two more notes. One is that um, until a couple of days ago, I had been making a constant uh, mistake in calling feature a 614, I was calling it 624, and 614 is actually the cut that is made here in um, post-retrieval little cut that we have in the platform 169, that's a late cut. And I kept calling it uh, this year, from the beginning of the excavation, uh, by wrong number, which I was saying 614, it should be 624, it should be 614. Okay, so that's one correction. Another correction is, uh, and not correction, but a note is that we will most likely uh, change our phasing of the house slightly. So that what we were calling so far our D and C is going to change and it's going to be much more precise. We'll have several phases of C, and, um, but we are not ready yet to come out with that. And I don't know if I have mentioned that uh, two days ago we intro introduced a new space number. We have 201 as our new space number and that space number goes for the house um, fr fr from its phase um, when it was exposed completely, uh, not exposed, uh, uh, one big room like it is now. That is after the, before the interior walls were introduced in the house. So that is 201. And then the later phases of the house that we have excavated in the past years uh, show that there were two rooms. One was 86, the central part of the house, and the other one 158. OK. That's enough of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.